concert grand and upright pianos, forgotten and left to die a long, slow death in once magnificent stately homes, braving the elements and decay till the very last. They bear witness to a bygone age. This is what photographer and pianist Romain Thierry is out to capture with his camera. He finds his subjects in deserted buildings like this one not far from Paris. This chateau dates back to the 19th century. According to my research, its construction started in the 1860s and was completed 20 years later. It's an impressive chateau. Romain explores hazardous and dilapidated buildings in search of photo subjects. This used to be locked, but you can get in anyway. Romain Thierry inspects the abandoned estate, room by room. Fifty years ago, it was still full of life. Then the photographer finds the motif he was looking for. The piano is an integral part of my life, so it's important to me to come and photograph them and pay one last tribute by playing them and making them ring out one last time. It touches my heart a bit to see this. I'd like to rescue them all, but that would be too complicated nowadays. While everything of any value has been plundered over the years, the heavy keyboard instruments have been left behind. It would be too much trouble to transport them. Romain Thierry won't say where exactly the stately homes in his pictures are. He tries to protect them as much as possible. He's recently published his work in a volume of photos titled Requiem pour Piano. In his images, Romain Thierry brings his two great loves together, photography and music. The piano is always in the foreground because it stands for a certain nobility, for aristocracy. It was the centerpiece of the house, and oddly enough, it still is. But I think even as a ruin, buildings with fine architecture like this one still retain something of their noble air. That's what's important to me. Romain Thierry has been photographing abandoned pianos since 2009. He finds them all across Europe in Spain, Germany, the Czech Republic, and Ukraine. He devotes a great deal of time to finding new locations, which he usually spots in online satellite images. You can see here, for example, there's a large building, and I can actually see that it's abandoned. There's a big hole in the roof. I can see another hole over here, and the gardens aren't being kept up anymore. It's potentially abandoned. So I would go and have a look. The on-off studios gallery in Paris's 17th arrondissement is opening an exhibition of his photos. Romain Thierry has reached the point where he can live off his art. He sells it all over the world. These pianos are waiting for something. They're a trace of the past, but they're also an indication of what's to come. Maybe they're just waiting to decompose and disappear. This kind of waiting that Romain has captured in his art touches me deeply. Romain Thierry is planning trips to Austria and Portugal next year to track down more abandoned buildings and more pianos before they lose the battle against time. <laughs>